this is probably the biggest race of the year. This is the track with the most history. It's the greatest spectacle in racing. So I, I'm super excited to get on track. I mean, tomorrow we're gonna be a little limited, probably with speed because we're doing the ROP test. So we're, they're gonna hold us back a little bit, but I, I'm just excited to turn my first laps around such a historical circuit. Today when I walked into the track, Everything felt a little different because I'm actually going to be a part of the event now. Going into Gasoline Alley, I've been in Gasoline Alley before, but there's just something different about the air. Knowing I'm, I'm going to be have a chance to race in the Indianapolis 500, everything's just a little bit different, a little bit more special. It was fantastic. We It went smoothly, which was the number one plan. Go out there, run the laps, finish the ROP testing, and if we had any more tires left or anything, we could do some actual testing. And that's exactly what happened. We did the ROP testing, we were the first ones to finish it, got comfortable. We had a couple adjustments to make in the cockpit, like my head pads and everything, but once we got all that all set, I was just turning laps and doing the laps we needed to do with no problems. The first few laps were a little weird because it was, you know, the car would get down a lot quicker than I was used to and we were moving a lot quicker. So my inputs were something that I had to adjust as I was going, but just getting a feel for that throughout the day, I got better and better. Next up is Indy GP. So, you know, I try to have a singular focus on the next event. And so we're on track, I think Thursday or Friday next week. So I'm just looking forward to getting back on track with the wings on the car, more downforce, and we're, we're gonna have to break. So I'm kind of getting in that mode. And then as soon as that's done, I'll be fully focused on Indy.